Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How are we doing guys? Hope you guys are well. So, recording this next video for you guys today. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, continue on with the quest line that we got here at the beginning. But also, I want to go ahead and check out a timed event that's popped up on our um, over map there so we'll get into that in a in a minute there now i did record the first video this is the second video that i'm doing back to back just so you guys are aware and right now i've got our fella here asking us to craft some planks or some boards i should say rather so we're just doing that there so that's happening at the minute uh, but we'll wait for those to go through he's just dashing his way over there at the moment so he's doing his thing but I'll let that go ahead and continue on right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to head out and we're going to go over to this time event just to show you guys what's going on with this because I'm sure that you guys would want to definitely check this out if you guys have only just started playing this game. It's one of those events where I would believe that this would be one of those easy events that you can get a whole bunch of things. So shipwrecked brig. So let's head over there. It doesn't appear to be any enemies, so there's no skulls there. My suspicion with this is there's not going to be any enemies for us to worry about. I think it's going to be open season, and we're just going to go ham and get ourselves a lot of loot. So I want to make the most of it. I want to take you guys along, so that's what we're doing. So as soon as we get into this zone, we're going to get into it straight away. All right. So hopefully you guys have checked out the first video as well. If you haven't, please go ahead and check that out. Where I'll sort of run through the introduction of the game, give you guys a basic overview of the game, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an understanding on what to look for, how to sort of navigate and play, because it is a little bit different compared to that of Westland. I did use Westland Survival for the most, of, most part for referencing this game, because it is made by the same developers being Helio. So that would be the only reason for that. As we're going through this at the moment, he's free reigns, getting ourselves some free loot, which I always like, nothing wrong with that. We've got some bamboo that's just in front of us there, not an issue, but let's continue on and grab everything that we can. We've got a new weapon that we can grab ourselves. Now it will result us going and making multiple trips, so do, consider that before you know running off and everything else in between yeah. there's some tar we definitely want to hang on to that there is a pistol as well i want to grab that while we're here so why not but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and open everything up and i just want to grab what i can here but what i actually might oh hang on hello can i i don't think i can okay i'm gonna have to go around <laughs> anyway what I might do is, considering that I've just got all of that, I'm going to go around and grab all the bits and pieces that I wasn't able to and sort of filter them to the front chest there, only just so it makes my life a lot easier. When I come back, I don't have to go back to all of these chests and do the same thing again. I think that makes a lot of sense. So we're going to do, oh, we're going to do just that. But yeah, as you can see, visually, it looks good. You know, I don't know if we can have an argument or we can, you know, discuss the the fact that would it be, is it A, better looking than Westland or is it not? I don't think we, we're there just yet, but so far, I like what I see. And let's just go ahead and store all into that and we'll, you know what, I think the first three chests here would be the go here. And as you can see, I've got some new boots and a new hat, which is awesome. But yeah, graphically, I like it. You know, I've seen worse games, put it that way. And I'm sure you guys may have, you know, have come across games that may not have, you know, as good a quality as what you're seeing right now. So I like it. So far, so good. Developers, if you guys watch uh, watching the video, um, if you've checked it out, um, yeah, you guys have done a fantastic job. So pat on the back for that and we've got a few of those there and what do we have over here like i said i think we're gonna have to make a few trips with this so i am hoping that i'll have enough energy for this that's my hope 
that. <laughs> I'm not too sure. But what I want to do is I probably want to take some of the more important things and anything that I can sort of um, grab as a take all, I will. And that just betters this experience in the long run here. But what I'll actually do is I'll be a little bit conscious about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And I will try and grab every little bits and pieces and just make full utilization of everything there. As you can see, I'm just sort of breaking things down so I know what I'm up for if I have to go back. And from what I can see here, I may just squeeze everything in. I'm not too sure if I will, but uh, it's gonna be an interesting one. So we're gonna head back and hopefully by then some of the uh, planks may have completed themselves. Well, look at this, a one-time opportunity. Remove everything from the shipwreck site. We've got some coinage. We've got another copper knife, which does 80 damage. Not bad, actually. And we've got a leather bag. Bottomless bag made of the best leather. Adds 15 to your inventory. Ooh, do I? I've got 24 hours to decide that. Now, if you guys have known me for a while now, I am all about that free to play lifestyle, okay? I do try and play the game as it was intended without any sort of, you know, abilities or, um, you know, perks or anything like that. But seeing that there and the fact that I'm enjoying myself at the moment, I know it's only video two that I'm, um, that I'm recording here, but you know what, credit where it's due, and you want to support the developers, I think that's a really good way of doing so. Yes, it's going to give you the ability to, you know, take more items. You'll be able to, you know, run through this a little bit quicker because you've got better um, usability of your stockpile and things like that. But you know what? I don't see that being a very bad thing to do. That's just me. I think it might be, you know, just one thing you can do to you know, show your appreciation to the developers that you've, you are actually enjoying the game. So I might just invest in, in just doing that maybe. Yeah, why not? I may just do that. So what I'm trying to do here at the moment is I'm just trying to de -loot, actually and right now I think I've gotten to the point where I'm going to need to enlist in another chest so we're going to do that right now I might just plop it over there for now because I know I'm going to need it when I go back there we go and yes you can definitely upgrade these as well if you really want to but you're going to need palm board copper plate and some copper fasteners so we're going to need some workstations up and running before we can get to that but right now We've got a time sensitive event, so I really want to head pack over there and sort of get that uh, sorted out. And as we're sort of going through, I'll probably, if even if I don't get everything, it takes us 15 minutes to head over there. 16 energy, I've got 38, so I think we might be fine with that. So we'll row over there. So it's not run, it's rowing over there. So you, you have yourself a little raft that allows you to go from point to point. Now, I think there will be a system in regards to like the horse attribute from Westland Survival. I'll show you what I mean by that once we head back to home base. So there will be an ability for us to carry more stuff as we sort of go along our adventures and things like that. So once we have, oh, okay, that was a bit weird. Um, once we have sorted this part out here i'm just making sure that i've got everything i think i've done everything the way i wanted to so i don't think we should have a problem let's go ahead and take all of that and i think there was something over there as well let's take him Oop. come on let's get out of that and yes okay cool all right so we have just gotten everything i should have actually dropped off my my pistol as well and it's actually a very slow pistol now in the survival genre when you have no enemies around you or if there's no one that has been um, essentially 
um, uh, locked onto or anything like that you're not going to lose durability if you're just going to shoot just like that so yeah just thought I'd point that out as we're sort of going along all right look there's nothing else of importance here anyway so we're going to head back to home base and we will continue on with the progressional status of the game and like I said a few little bits and pieces that I want to show you as well but I just wanted to grab all of that I know there was over an hour on that but I wanted to grab everything I know there's not much energy that I have there at the minute but I'm not too worried um, oop, are we back oh oh okay oh that's what it was I was looking at this and you've got uh, channels here you can type to someone here but you need the dove coat so again another analogy that has been brought into the game from Westland you've got a dove coat here so that allows you to speak to other people as well now there is a town I haven't actually worked out where the town is um, probably when I was looking through the over map in the original video there may have been a remnants of that but I just didn't see that anyway but I'm sure you guys may have picked up on that anyway so all well and good on that front uh, so right now I might just put some of the copper ores and things like that in there we've got some fried fish we've got some coral I think I might whack the coral in here we've got some dried meat and we've got some rum okay so what I might do is I'm sort of trying to get a bit of a um, inventory management early on because I just don't want to throw everything anywhere and everywhere until I get to the point where I don't know where everything is so but we've got the food container here so we'll store all the food stuff in there all well and good and then what you've got over here is you've got your um, your wood stuff here which is great so we'll just pop that in there and I think I can drop that in there perfect cool so the other thing I wanted to show you was this so let's go ahead and fix this fella up and we'll have a quick bit of a discussion with this fella here so boom we've got a slipway now this would probably be an upgraded version of your um, your raft or your boat whatever you use to you, um, commute over to other zones when you use your energy but as you can see here we've got some things that we're going to need to acquire so we can add all this to this slipway now I would assume that the compass, the spyglass, the rowlocks, and the oars, I would imagine whether these would be hard to find items or they're not in the game currently. That I will not know at the moment, but I figured I'd just point those out as I've got you guys here. But you can see the seamen's chest here. If you jump into that, there are some of the bits and pieces in here if you want to try your luck. Now, I'm not going to do that again free to play but i'm not biased in not um you know flicking the developers a few dollars here and there just to show appreciation so like i said i probably will end up getting th uh, that little offer there where you get the the better chest i'm oh, sorry the better chest the better backpack so i might just end up doing that um and you've got a eight dollar australian dollars i should say offer here so you got some uh, uh boats boats wayne's hat coat i don't know if i pronounced that right so boats wayne's anyway as you can see it's an armor you've got a musket you've got an elegant flint pistol and you've got a sandstone hammer so some pretty cool things there especially you know if you really want to support the developers by all means i'm not telling you not to do that but i just figured i thought i'd bring that up as i've got you guys here You've got the sailor's chest here, which consists of some of the other bits and pieces that you're going to need as well. So there's a few bits and pieces in there that you guys can grab. Again, it's all about the roll of the dice. Huge barrel of tar, enough for an entire fleet. Tar, enough for several trips. Now, I'm guessing this is going to be your oats, like you have to your horse. So tar is required to use the boat? Question mark. That's what I'm thinking. I'm not too sure actually and you got your well you've got the three random thing you've got your resources over here now you can get some free ones here but you're gonna have to watch 
a, um, I believe you're gonna have to watch something, I guess. But I'm not gonna do that on camera, so I haven't worked that out yet. But again, if it's anything like Westland, it's gonna have the same type of bits and pieces here, so which I would probably recommend um, that you guys do your your freebies and things like that if if it permits and at least that way you guys get a bit of a leg up playing the game obviously when time goes on it's some of those things that people don't really bother about uh, like in Westland but you know for a brand new game such as this you probably want to pay a little bit more attention to those type of things so um, right now we've got our Jimmy fella here we have to craft the planks so did I did I not craft any bamboo boards? Interesting. I thought I did. Okay. So what we'll do is I'm gonna grab this and this because I would imagine that this will break eventually. So we're gonna find some bamboo, which I know that I've got a few up this way. So we'll go ahead and break some of those down, and we'll go ahead and craft up some planks. So we're gonna need to do just that. So we're onto the copper uh, axe here. Probably shouldn't be using it early this on, uh, early on this part of the game, but I'm using it. I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, it is what it is. But this should give us enough for us to, you know, start crafting everything and all that sort of good stuff. So we'll go ahead and do just that. I know our guy's hungry here. That's okay. We'll just continue on and just get what we need from all of this so we can continue on progressing through this little tutorial here and we're about to level up which is always a good thing as well so nearly up to level eight and actually nearly cut down all the bamboo as well which is great there we go alrighty so let's go over here let's go ahead and craft up I believe I think we need five of those things so I'm just going to do that. They're going to take about five minutes or so, which is fine. Okay, so will he... Okay, cool. So he let me complete the quest. We can go back into inbox if we want to check that out. Now, what it's asking us to do is build the uh, dovecote frame, finish the project, and go back to the sailor. Let's go ahead and accept that one there. And let's go to the... I think it's the projects. Dovecote. There we go. And I'm going to stick him over here. And obviously you can move these things if you really wanted to as well. Which is very, well, really not much different to that of Westland. And then here we have it. So what we're going to need to do is we've got cane seeds, we've got metal scrap, and we've got some thin leather that we're going to need to grab in order to finish off the uh, dove coat there. So I've actually got some of this stuff which is great and we're just going to store some of the stuff that we don't need at the minute and I believe it's so we need metal scraps which we've got enough actually so you know what we might actually end up finishing this today which is great and the leather do I have leather yes I do look at this look at me go well, let's just plop that in there and I may as well go for gold here and grab the rest of the planks. And then boom, let's go ahead and finalize it. There we go, Dovecote is built. Now you will receive news on how to find the sailor that's been kept captive by the black spot. Okay, well that's interesting. There we go. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and store some of the bits and pieces that we don't need now. Um, what do we have here? We've got some fried fish. You know what? I want to hang on to that only because if if fried fish is anything to go by in Westland, I'm probably going to need it for a weapon repair or something like that. So yeah, uh, the cooked meat. Yeah, I'll eat that. Absolutely. And let's just cycle back. And you know what? I don't want to take this pistol with me. So I'm going to do that and that and I will keep that in there and let's okay cool now, I think I've got a full kit of armor actually let's look at this there we go yeah I do I mean admittedly the pants and the 
shirt a little bit worse for wear but full armor so light armor which is all well and good and let's go back to the sailor finish that off let's complete it and then we've got a part two so we need to wait for the sailor to come back so that's the last thing that we need to wait on so if for those that haven't seen it or don't remember let me head out real quick over to the global map here and this will give you some a bit of insight and hopefully this will show me some further information as well because this, uh, again this is the first time that i've gone this far there's another pop-up event the trader has sent you a notice he definitely should have some nice goods to exchange so there's a trader over there now i won't have the energy to do this it's going to take me 23 minutes to get over there and he's there for 34 so unfortunately i may not be able to do it but as you can see over there you can see that little raft where the green zone is that is where our second sailor is he's going to go over there he's going to grab resources for us and return back to us um, with the goods and we have to take that from him so i don't think there's going to be any force involved there but just to give you guys an idea that's what we're going to need to do so all well and good just thought i'd bring that up as we sort of come through that but let's head back to home and actually there was no town i don't know actually i want to see if there was a town are you guys enjoying the music i'm enjoying the music it's very piratey very gives me pirate to the caribbean vibes i don't know i mean makes sense because it is a pirate game but I don't know, I just wanted to point that out to you guys. But let me just head back out. I just want to see if there's some sort of town reminiscence that we can go over and visit possibly. I might make that the next video that we do. But right now what we've got here, we've got the Lucius Island. Okay. Well, that's three skull zone. Two skull over here, some round island. Gives you a bit of an idea what to look for as well, or what will be in these areas. We've got the horned island okay interesting sandy island and it looks like we've got some metals along with some stone so you probably want to go there but three skull so be very careful probably until you guys get your um uh your levels up on your players and better weapons and things like that there was the the tropical island that we've got there there was a temple over there temple will be interesting to check out as well uh shallow waters though we've got the players bases over there and we've got the dead island which we're definitely not going to go over to okay so there's really not much over here and i think we've got the stone island over there if we want to head over so you got your basic zones as you do you've got the damned island over there as we saw before in the previous video but yeah no town to speak of i don't know whether that's going to be a new implementation or an add-in or anything like that because there was some reference to a town um earlier on when i was playing the game so anyway that is that and let's head back over to the dovecote just to sort of round off this episode here just want to see if there was anything of interest here so we've got the sea savvy here okay so this is like a, a bounty all right cool so we've got bounties that we can do as well all right so rumor has it uh, that a pirate named Rusty Nash is bothering the local merchants and pirates. Our reconnaissance say that his lair is somewhere around here. Find his base and show him what it means to violate a pirate's oath. You can find clues here. Stone Island, Bamboo Island, find the coordinates, eliminate the target, go back and report, get some coin. You get Ugly Peter. Okay, so you get another another sailor to come with you that's cool okay well i think we've got another video up our sleeves guys but let me know so far are you guys enjoying this i'm actually enjoying this it's a little bit refreshing it is something that is different you know compared to say that of westland any other survival games but very so similar so there's a lot of familiar traits 
but there's different things that we've got here that we can muck around with and things that we can explore and things like that but also along with this the developers have given it a different dimension they're trying different things out as well so you never know if there will be a crossover of you know additions to this game from say Westland over to this game and if say this sailor system that we have here we've got a couple of guys here that prove successful we might even get cowboys or cowgirls let's say coming over to Westland and bringing that as a mechanic as well so all exciting things with this game anyway I'm gonna leave it here today I thank you guys for coming by watching the video be sure to let me know if you enjoyed this one by hitting the like button comment down below let me know how I'm doing with this any info is good info let me know what's going on and if you guys are new to the channel seeing what you like want to see more consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos alrighty guys that's enough from me I'm out of here take it easy and I will catch you next time